DC compound motor. So in DC compound motor, it's a combination of both series as well as the shunt windings. In figure you can see that it's having the both series winding as well as the shunt winding. So in the DC compound, it's again divided in two types that is cumulative and the differential compound. So what you mean by cumulative means if the flux generated by a series winding as well as the shunt windings are in the same direction, then it is called as cumulative compound motor. If the flux generated by series winding as well as the shunt winding is not in same direction, then it is called as differentially compound DC motor. So these two again divided in two types that is long and short shunt. So in first one, in cumulative, the uh, current enters the positive terminal of the series field winding and current ISH enters the positive terminal of the field winding. Hence flux produces same direction. If you see the equation, that is I of SH is equal to V divided by R of SH. I is equal to IL minus I of SH. Back EMF EB is equal to V minus I into RA plus R of SE. This equation holds good for both cumulative differential long shunt DC motor. For the cumulative or differential compound short shunt DC motor, the equation is given by ISH is equal to V minus IL into R of SC divided by RSH. The IA current is equal to IL minus ISH. The back EMF is given by V minus IL into R of SC minus IA into RA. So this is all about the DC compound motor.